My name is Deborah Scott and I'd like to welcome you to the ABCs of Instructional Design course. I recently completed a Master of Education program at Georgia Southern University, majoring in Instructional Technology. The original version of this course was delivered as a faculty development workshop to fulfill a practicum requirement. It was designed to be adapted to a face-to-face -face setting as a hybrid course or offered fully online. The main objective of the course is to simplify the design process by modeling a systematic approach to instructional design. The course is targeted to teachers faced with the challenge of planning, creating, and implementing an online learning environment. For some, just the thought of such a task is overwhelming. But it's my objective to provide support as you complete the task one step at a time. Learning management systems generally provide the primary tools used in the development of online or virtual learning environments. The goal is not to cover step by step how to use each of the designer tools available in each of these systems. The goal is to encourage users to recognize the just-in-time cues and help features provided in each system in order to gain comfort and familiarity navigating within any learning management system. Please join the ABCs of Instructional Design Discussion Forum, ask questions, share comments, success stories, challenges, and ask your friends and colleagues to join in the discussion. Creating a virtual learning environment is not an easy task. A primary objective of the ABCs of Instructional Design is to provide a quick start method for creating a virtual learning environment within a learning management system. The skill building videos focus on three essential elements required to quickly set up a virtual learning environment. As a result of successfully completing the ABCs of instructional design, you are expected to post at a minimum the three key elements listed below in a learning management system of your choice. A unit overview web page, a discussion forum, and an assignment or assessment task. Again, I want to emphasize that this is a self-paced course. There's absolutely no reason to rush to complete the instructional design assessment task. Instructional design is by nature complex, but we will apply two well-researched instructional design models to help break down the process into more manageable units. The ADDIE model and the Understanding by Design or UBD model. A backwards design model in which you must clearly specify your desired results before beginning to create any instructional materials. Analyze, design, develop, implement, and evaluate. If you are a secondary or higher education teacher teaching fully online or looking for a way to supplement your face-to-face -face instruction with online instruction, then you will find one or more sections of this course to be extremely valuable. You will be challenged to truly experience the online learning environment from both the student and teacher perspective. Preparing a virtual representation of your face-to-face -face interactions is challenging, to say the least. But hopefully, after completing the exercises, you will have additional insight regarding your most and least effective instructional strategies, as well as the motivation to continually fine-tune your instructional materials. I thank you for listening, and I look forward to chatting with you soon.